In this video, we are going to learn about a common heart defect, arrhythmia. Heart arrhythmia is an irregular heartbeat that occurs when the electrical signals that control the heart beats works improperly. The irregular signaling can cause the heart to beat too fast, which is called tachycardia, too slow, bradycardia, or just inconsistently. However, in order to fully understand arrhythmia, we must first better understand the anatomy of the heart and the system that controls its beats. The human heart functions as a pump to transport blood throughout the body. Specifically, the heart transports blood between two systems, systemic circulation and pulmonary circulation. To achieve this, the heart has four chambers. The top two chambers are called atria, and the bottom two chambers are called ventricles. Circulation begins when deoxygenated blood returns to the right atrium of the heart from the body and enters into the right ventricle. The right ventricle then pumps the blood into the lungs through pulmonary circulation, oxygenating the blood. After that, the oxygenated blood returns from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart, which pushes it into the left ventricle. Then, the left ventricle pumps the oxygenated blood throughout the body into the systemic circulation. Here, the blood transports oxygen and nutrients into the tissues of the body. After this, the blood is deoxygenated again and returns to the right atrium of the heart. The heart controls this order of events by controlling the contraction of each chamber through a conduction system, which utilizes special heart muscle cells. Similar to skeletal muscle cells, these heart muscle cells, called cardiac muscle cells, are activated by a change in the electron gradient inside the cell. However, unlike skeletal muscle cells, cardiac muscle cells have their own special features. First, the heart exhibits autorhythmicity, meaning the heart itself can start the activation of contraction without signaling from external nerves. This activation is done by specialized heart muscle cells. Second, cardiac muscle cells are connected by intercalated discs. Intercalated discs contain gap junctions, or tubular channels that connect the cytoplasm of adjoining cells, therefore Muscle impulses can pass from one cell to the next almost instantly after being created by specialized heart muscle cells. While it seems instantaneous, there are several steps involved that make the heart beat. First, muscle impulses are started at the sinoatrial or SA node in the posterior of the right atrium by these specialized cells. Then, muscle impulses pass through the two atrial chambers and cause a contraction. The blood is then squeezed into the ventricles by the atria. Third, the impulse is carried to a node in the inferior border of the right atrium called the atrioventricular or AV node. The signal is held here for seconds, allowing blood to fill up the ventricles. The impulse is then carried from this node down the bundle of Hiss. The branches of this bundle, called Purkinje fibers, then carry the impulse throughout the walls of the ventricles, the signals finally allowing the two ventricles to contract. The conduction system is almost foolproof, allowing the heart to pump blood throughout the body for your entire life. But as with any part of the body, issues can arise. Heart arrhythmia is an irregular heartbeat caused by the error in one or more of these conduction steps. This system can malfunction in different ways, each of which is associated with its own abnormal functions. One kind of arrhythmia is tachycardia, the abnormal fast beating of the heart. Tachycardia is usually caused by abnormal firing of SA nodes. One example of this is atrial fibrillation. The normal range for a heart rate is 60 to 100 beats per minute, but the heart rate of a patient with atrial fibrillation may range anywhere from 100 to 175 beats per minute. During atrial fibrillation, the signals from the SA node in the upper chambers of the heart are chaotic, resulting in the upper chambers shaking and quivering in motion. Then, the AV node is bombarded with signals trying to get through to the lower ventricles. The atria are now out of sync with the ventricles of the heart as they cannot process all these signals quick enough, causing a fast and uncoordinated rhythm with the atria contracting faster than the ventricles. This makes it so the blood cannot be transported to the body properly. As a result, a patient with atrial fibrillation may experience sensations of a fast and pounding heartbeat, chest pain, dizziness, fatigue, and shortness of breath. On the opposite side of the spectrum, bradycardia is an abnormal slow heartbeat. 
This can be caused by abnormal low firing rate of the SA node or problems in the conduction pathways of the heart that don't allow electrical impulses to pass properly from the atria to the ventricles. One example of bradycardia is sick sinus syndrome, a disease in which the SA node becomes damaged. Scarring near the damage site slows, disrupts, or blocks the travel of the impulse. This causes the heart to no longer be able to generate normal heartbeats at its normal rate. This damage can be caused by issues such as overuse of certain drugs or a prior heart attack. Some common symptoms of sick sinus syndrome include chest pain, confusion, dizziness, fainting, and shortness of breath. While arrhythmia can be a struggle to deal with, it is treatable. Some common treatments for atrial fibrillation, for example, include medications, therapy to reset the heart rhythm, called cardioversion, and surgery or catheter procedures. Different medications can be used for the treatment depending on the specific condition of the patient. Cardioversion therapy can be delivered two ways, through electrical cardioversion and drug cardioversion. The electrical cardioversion resets the heart rhythm by sending electric shocks to the heart through patches placed on the chest. Drug cardioversion is done by giving medication to reset the heart rhythm. If the medication and therapy do not help the patient get better, a more complicated surgery and procedure would then be applied. For sick sinus syndrome, the common treatment is an implanted artificial electronic pacemaker. It's a small battery-powered electronic device that gets implanted under the skin near the collarbone. The pacemaker is programmed to help stimulate the heart as needed to keep it beating normally.